Hey guys, it's Nicola. So before we get started though, I will be doing a new special for this week, August the 6th through August the 13th. It's a pay per minute special, meaning however many minutes you pay for on PayPal, that's how many minutes you get to me. There is no exclusions, no limits. If you pay for $5, you get five minutes. But understand, I will cut the phone off at five minutes. So if you need more time, you will have to pay for more time and reschedule more time with me. If you only got a dollar and you want a minute to speak with me, pay a dollar, however much. Just make sure when you make your payment that you put your name in PayPal and that you um put your question and your birthday as well Sorry, in the description of my fire signs, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. What messages do we have for my fire signs? Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, moon, and rising messages for my fire signs. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, moon, and rising. August 7th, 2018. What messages do we have for my fire signs? August 7th, 2018. Let's see what we got. Seven of Cups, what you're confused about. In your head, you need to stop procrastinating. You're resting, you're procrastinating. You need to make some moves. Some of you guys may, um, make sure you make, um, don't make impulsive moves. You feel me? Um, because you, a lot of you guys are confused about something. Um, you are confused. Maybe someone that you're dealing with had decided to kind of take a break, take a spacer, um, withdraw, maybe even. There's some plotting that's going on within something. Um, not negative. I just believe someone's kind of reevaluating or contemplating over something before moving forward with something. Because there's a lot of slow moving energy here. A lot of control within the situation with the Emperor and the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone that may be taking their time um, about something, about a situation being sort of controlling, not working. Maybe someone's... Um, being too controlling so now their motives are being questioned into a partnership so whether or not they are actually offering something new or something stable within a partnership so let's see why this emperor card is here why is this emperor card here why is this emperor card here why is this whoa okay y'all make sure y'all come out Someone very controlling in a relationship, and it, it I got the seven of cups in reverse someone needs to speak the truth someone needs to take control of their emotions within the situation okay um someone could be trying to control someone emotionally got a lot of cups here but they're all in reverse the truth needs to be spoken someone's controlling this situation emotionally because they don't want either the other person to walk away or they don't want to walk away. So someone's very much trying to control the communication in the situation, the truth within the situation, because they're really not happy with the way things are going. So let's see why this Knight of Pentacles is here. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Yep, someone's very much taking their time about choosing um, a path, making a decision, balancing the situation out, a new opportunity. Someone needs to wake up. Someone needs to hear the call. So someone's very slow about moving forward. Why is this four of swords? Could be a lot of um, someone doing a lot of praying, a lot of spirituality here. Um, someone could be not seeing the truth. Ten of swords is the underlying energy. Something needs to end. Some type of stagnation needs to end. Some type of... Um, deception needs to end someone someone has withdrew emotionally because they're trying to evaluate what they need to do they may have withdrew because they want to end a situation with the sin of swords and underlying energy that may be the reason for the withdrawal someone wants to end something because this is an ending but with the seven of swords here i don't know if this is deception self-deception um this could be self-deception. Someone is, is, is really going through some sort of kind of, um, I don't want to say awakening. I don't see it as an awakening. I see it as someone 
kind of just taking a break before taking action. Rethinking. So someone's in their head trying to make sure that they're making the right decision, but I believe the decision has already been made and someone's not being honest about the decision. Because there's some communication that hasn't been spoken. All right, so why is this Knight of Wands here? Why is this Knight of Wands here? Conflict, impulsive conflict um, about a, a, a connection. Someone may have been... Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there may be, have been some impulsive actions. Um, could be conflict, internal conflict. I believe this is impulsively moving away or impulsively, like impulsive movement. So someone could have been very um, prideful, not very stable. This has something to do with in a relationship, something either heard in a relationship or him hearsay. Um, there is definitely a lot of impulsive actions or impulsive. Um, there's a lot of impulsive stuff going on here. You really need to think about this, 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 this relationship. And the only reason why I say that, because you may be make, acting mainly off impulses, not being very considerate of what you're putting your energy into. The Knight of Wands is usually about acting off impulse, thinking about your actions before acting, carefully considering the um, results. Within this situation, I believe this is conflict within a relationship or conflict about a partnership, because this is a Hierophant in reverse. Um, with the Fool card, someone could be being very foolish about their actions or about... Um, even being in conflict with their higher selves about what they should do. Why is this page of Pentacles here? This is the outcome. So let's see what's going on here. Why is this page of Pentacles here? Why is this page of Pentacles here? Yeah, someone's crumbing you. They've been crumbing you for a while too. Minimum, doing minimum, 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 minimum. Not being honest, um, two of swords. You need to see the truth about this connection. You need to see the truth about this situation, this person. Someone is literally giving you the bare minimum of them. Um, and they're offering it to you like it's the best that you've ever had. Um, and you really need to reevaluate that situation. So this can be, for a lot of you guys, maybe coming to some type of... Um, realization of where you are within a situation okay and this person this could be due to this person withdrawing because now they're having some sort of um awakening okay so let's see what guidance we got what guidance do we have for my fire sign sagittarius aries leo august 7 2018 one more Star signs, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. August 7th, 2000. All right. We got high places. All right. So, a lot of you guys. You need to understand that you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. You have a bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Focus your intents. It says keep your, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will make your mark. With a lot of you guys, you need to um, tap into your high, your high priestess, the um, higher version of yourself, your higher self. Um, you have knowledge that can help you through this situation, but you're needing to tap into it. That's all I got.